wind is probably going to make this kind of hard to hear, but just outside the town of Lebanon, Kansas, we have arrived at the center of the contiguous U.S. But this one was not too far off our route through Kansas, and so I had to stop and get a picture of it. Nope, that's not it. That's our bikes. But there, there it is. There's the marker for the geographic center of the continental United States. It says here the monument was built in 1940. We got this cool little park here, a couple of little playthings for the kids. And information kiosk or even a little chapel here just one more thing on my places to visit of cool shit in the US I'm in the town of Mitchell South Dakota and it looks like a carnival it is sort of but not really this is world-famous Corn Palace. The reason for all of this carnival atmosphere, I guess, if you want to call it that, is that this place gets 500,000 visitors a year. This was first established in 1892, and this present building that we're looking at was erected in 1921. Uh, this all hosts industrial exhibits, stage shows, concerts, dances, proms, you name it. Every year it's decorated with natural colored corn and native grasses. From May to October, students from Dakota Wesleyan University do murals over here. The murals are put up in May, they go through August, and then new ones are put up again in October. This is, I was kind of talking about the murals, and I guess the theme this year is famous South Dakotans, but I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Let me zoom in, but those are corn cobs and corn husks that make up all the mural. And then the grasses are adorning the outside of it. And then the marquee is all corn cob. Yeah, check well, that that's out. Right. Well, that's why it's, it's basketball all, stuff on the This is all inside. Pretty nice little arena here. And again, with all the different murals all the way around. Pretty impressive. Two hours later. My next stop in South Dakota is just outside the town of Chamberlain and it's actually a rest area overlooking the Missouri River and I'm kind of hiding from the winds before I show you the reason why I stopped at this uh, particular rest area. The main reason being there's a statue back there. This is called Dignity of Earth and Sky. So this is a 50 foot high 32 foot wide sculpture that was first proposed in 2014 as a gift to the state of South Dakota and is erected in 2016. The uh, colors in the cape are all colored glass. I hide from the wind a little bit. There we go, we're out of the wind a bit. Here's the view of the Missouri River and the town of Chamberlain down there. When I 
was a kid, I used to see bumper stickers on cars. I said, where the heck is Wall Drug? Well, Wall, South Dakota is the home of Wall Drug. And this is Wall Drug. It takes up an entire city block and then some. It started out as just a regular drugstore in 1931 or so. And it's just grown. Souvenirs, they have everything in this store. They have a cafe that holds 530 people, and they sell camping supplies, they sell western wear, they sell boots, they sell art, they sell jewelry, you name it, you can buy it here. And if that wasn't enough on the main drag in Wall, South Dakota, across the street, there's even more shops and souvenir shops and so on. Outfitters, the usual tourist crap. Badlands Harley Davidson has a t shirt shop down here. It's pretty cool. It's a place you can definitely come and kill about three hours if you really want to. If you're a shopper, if you're not a shopper, it'll probably take you an hour. For you coffee drinkers, you can get a five cent cup of coffee. For people like me that don't drink coffee, Ice water's free. Some more of the shops across from Wall Drug. And it's not like you can miss this place. I mean, there's signs for miles and miles and miles along Interstate 90 telling you about it. And it's right off the interstate, so it doesn't take anything to find it. Well, we were in Sturgis last night, and uh, quite a different uh, vibe since the rally's all over and done with, but we we're going to leave Sturgis this morning, make our way up into Montana, where we're going to meet up with some friends tomorrow, but come out this morning, and we notice there's a nice little metal stripe down the center of Craig's rear tire on his bike. Probably about 5,000 miles since he put that tire on. Uh, the guys at JMP Cycles in Sturgis were able to get him a tire and they recommended us to a shop called Chubbs Brothers Customs and Hot Rods. Uh, kind of an old school shop. Guy just kind of does things for fun but he works on bikes and he said bring it on by and we will put a tire on for you. So they're working on that right now. I always like to give credit where credit is due and uh, we rolled in here and he got the bike up on the rack right away and getting it put together. Let's see if I can get a shot of the bike in the shop here. And uh, there it is. So we should be on the road probably within the hour. Got a really cool 49 Cadillac in there. That's a beauty. Anyway, and then we'll be on the road. So making our way out of South Dakota after getting a new shoe for Craig's bike in uh, the town of Belfouche, we come to the geographic center of the U.S. Don't know if I can get a picture of it uh, with the camera here, but we're going to give it a shot. And there it is. definitely worth a stop. Have all the state flags. At the end of our trip, we met up with our friend Steve and Betty to hang out and ride Beartooth Pass. As much as I've been all over the western U.S., I have never ridden Beartooth. It's not a long ride, roughly 114 miles through southern Montana and northern Wyoming, but climbs to almost 11,000 feet with spectacular views and is honestly one of the most fun rides I've ever done. We parted ways in Mammoth and Craig and I began making our way home. What a fun trip. Three weeks on the road, just under 6,000 miles. Thanks for coming along.
And remember, keep your knees in the breeze. Hopefully, I'll see you on the road. Uh, just a reminder about my books, Life Behind Bars, The Long Road Home. They are available at Amazon and Barnes & Noble and Walmart, pretty much anywhere you can get your books.